Hello everyone, and welcome to my Sister Wise official channel. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Before we begin, please hit the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. Garrison Brown's obituary identifies him as a cherished brother and uncle. It also explores how the Sister Wives group is coping with his passing. Robert Garrison Brown's obituary features heartfelt words that would make most Sister Wise watchers cry. The Flagstaff resident was a bright spot in everyone's life. He was a positive individual who loved to offer joy and make people smile. Unfortunately, Garrison fought with personal demons that nobody knew about. He was battling mental health challenges that eventually forced him to commit suicide. In March 2024, headlines indicated that Cody and Janelle Brown's kid had died of a self-inflicted bullet wound. The family members later confirmed the news on social media by tweeting about him and honoring his memory. Recently, a local newspaper, AC Daily Sun, issued Garrison's obituary, which discussed him and his family. It stated, On March 4th, beloved son, brother, uncle, and friend Robert Garrison Brown joined his ancestors in the halls of Valhalla. The obituary indicated that Garrison was the sixth child of a vast, unusual family. It claimed he is survived by his large, adoring family and his three cats, Cafu, Patches, and Miss Buttons. Garrison's obituary also claimed that he was a jack of all trades and wanted to be a nurse because he cared about people and mute creatures. Garrison Brown's loved ones are in immense pain. Garrison's death has deeply affected everyone in the Brown family. The obituary underlined the impact of Garrison's departure on others, stating, he made friends everywhere he went, and his death leaves all who knew him in immense pain. The Brown family adored Garrison and made him feel included. While Cody had some problems with Garrison in 2020, he had always been a nice father to him before that. Everyone in the family cared for Garrison, thus the obituary claimed that everyone was miserable after losing him. The obituary continued, Robert Garrison's death is a reminder to tell those you love how you feel and take care of each other. Garrison's passing is the most terrible incident in the history of sister wives. It's tremendously difficult for the Brown family and fans who have watched him grow over the past 14 years. It'll be incredibly tough for Garrison's parents and siblings to move ahead. They all need time away from reality TV to heal. Even though Cody isn't married to Mary, Janelle, and Christine, it's the proper time for the complete family to come together as one. They owe it to Garrison to demonstrate love for one another and conquer their disagreements. Garrison's obituary notes that his family and friends are in immense grief. Therefore, fans should allow them the solitude they deserve. Over the weeks, numerous people have made harsh comments on Christine and Mary's posts solely because they have begun posting on social media. People need to understand that many Brown family members work utilizing Instagram. Just because they have began promoting or posting online doesn't mean they miss Garrison any less. The Brown family needs love and support following a severe catastrophe. They are real individuals with real difficulties and stories, not just cast members of Sister Wives. Are Cody and Robin troublemakers? Fans seem to think Cody and Robin are selfish. Cody and Robin may have troubles of their own, as the footage above illustrates. However, they also tangle with other people. Cody urging his son Garrison to join the Nevada Army National Guard was a bit odd, given he looked so removed from his son much of the time. In fact, they were tragically estranged when Garrison passed away. Maybe Cody would have improved his friendship with Garrison by approving of his decision. However, of course, if Cody had understood how serious his son's mental illness concerns were, he would have done things differently. In life, people don't always know what's going to happen. They make judgments, and then calamity comes, and they feel like they didn't see it coming. When a loved one takes their life, it's incredibly terrible and unexpected. The shock is enormous and very tough to live with, it's like the cosmos transforms forever, becoming such a dark, cold, and terrifying place. It feels like nothing will ever take away the anguish. Of course, Cody loved his son and would have done anything to avert this fate. Of course, he is hurting, and so is Robin. 
Robin Brown's always perceived as a villain. Is Robin Brown really that bad? However, when it comes to Robin, there's so much negative energy. She's been accused of interfering with Cody's ties with the kids he shares with Mary, Janelle, and Christine. She'll critique practically everything, from a brown kid's choice of church to Cody's feuds with his older boys. Always passive-aggressive, Robin affects Cody behind the scenes. Once in a while, she ventures out of the shadows, boldly proclaiming her ideas. No matter how she chose to operate, Robin did some damage. A multiple family is a group in a precarious state. The sands are continually moving. As with a royal court, the king Cody may bestow his affections on whomever he likes. He may swap allegiances on a whim. Cody didn't do this, giving Robin everything, nearly from day one. That was the real reason why there's a brown family curse. The bad blood gushed up, polluting the atmosphere. Cody felt he had to disguise his affection for Robin. The other women believed that he didn't hide it at all, but rubbed it in their faces. Did Cody and Robin antagonize the Brown family? Some of the kids had issues with Cody and Robin. The Brown kids who weren't Robin and Cody's children began to rebel. They took up their mother's attitudes, becoming more aggressive with Cody. They rejected him as a man who practically ignored them. Gwendolyn Brown accused Cody of overspending during the pandemic, more or less stating that his reckless spending was all concentrated on his life with Robin. Gabriel and Savannah Brown, his kids with Janelle, didn't approve of his parenting, feeling slighted by the patriarch. They were hurt, and so was Garrison. Clayton Brown is also feuding with Cody. That's a lot of trouble in one household. This tragedy was awful and the opinion among Sister Wives fans is that it is the end outcome of Cody and Robin's troublemaking. They are viewed as villains who pushed Garrison away. That will be very hard for them to live with. They must process so much guilt, terror, and despair. On Cody's Instagram, one admirer said, You are so low down. This is something that you will have to live with for the rest of your life. Let this be a lesson to you. You also should be ashamed how you treated your other three spouses. They moved on and showed you that you're no treasure. They are genuinely glad since they got rid of you. Cody and Robin need to face a world that just doesn't approve of them. So yeah, they must feel cursed right now. Cody has a tendency of placing his troubles on other people and Robin eggs him on. Hopefully this time, they'll look within, acknowledging their role in things. Sister Wives Season 18 was a heartbreaking journey that emphasized the risks of polygamy. It can affect wives and children. It can even injure the patriarch. It's not a healthy situation to be in. Now, Cody and Robin need to move on, knowing that they're getting accused for a catastrophe that is killing their hearts. That is terribly sad. Before fans abuse online, they should understand that although Cody and Robin's shortcomings are very real, they are human beings who are mourning. Right now, the hateful remarks just keep coming. Gabriel Brown attended his brother's National Guard service this week. Seated beside his distraught mother, Gabriel battled to keep it together as the event honored Garrison Brown. Keep reading to view images of Gabriel at his brother's service. Gabriel Brown attends National Guard service for Garrison. The sister wife star wore khaki slacks and a white shirt. His brothers carried Hawaiian pattern ties with their dress attire. A number of the family members were dressed in Hawaiian-style outfits, which Garrison was known to appreciate. In fact, he had his own Hawaiian shirt company for a short period of time before he started pursuing a profession as a nurse. Hunter sat next to his mother, Janelle Brown, for the event. She dressed all black and was plainly heartbroken throughout the event, as she was presented with her son's folded flag, the sister wife's star pulled her lips together and fought to fight back tears that inevitably came. Gabriel Brown sat behind her, red-eyed and crying for his late brother. The Nevada National Guard tweeted images of the ceremony with a poignant statement honoring the late TLC star. One photo of the event showed the family with their heads bent in prayer, several of them hanging onto each other for comfort. Thanks for watching if you like this video, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and don't miss any updates.